Once again, you, you make a little transition, you don't hear Top Sando. You know, you're one of the most sought after coaches in the league, you know. You, you could make a, a choice to anybody who needed a coach. Why Club Sando? Um, I like the vision, you know, um, as the only team in South. And I think we could get good support from the people in South once they buy into the team. You know, in Trinidad, we like winners. Also, the, uh, the chairman, when he spoke to me, you know, he wanted to have a young team. He wanted to develop a team over years, and that's my passion. I love coaching young people and bringing them from one place to the next level. All right, this year in the, in the Pro League, you know, uh, we have a, a sort of truncated season. With the expectations of Club Sando, I know you say he's a winner, you know, but with the expectations of Club Sando for this uh, 2016 season? You know, winning is not all about titles and trophies, but in the, in the, in the, in the realm of professionalism it is, because results determine um, your worth and that kind of thing. So uh, we're hoping to get in two finals in, in some of the Cups, and uh, if we come in the top four, I think that will be a, a step up from where we came from last season, uh, where we came seventh. So we're just trying to improve the club step by step, basically. All right. Uh we are seeing at Club Sando, other than well, look, the organization and the vision, we are seeing on the field at Club Sando that you like? Well, the youngsters, you know, I, I love young players. Um, uh, we have mainly Trinidadian players. Also, I like to develop our country. So, we, we have a young group of players. They, they're playing for each other, they're passionate about the game, and they're willing to learn, and that is the most important thing, you know. And, um, down in South, you know, that they, they, it's a footballing place, you know. South people like to come out and watch the sport, so, yeah. With the Pro League, you know, doing for, for, for football in China and Tobago. It's unbelievable. Um, if you look at the national team that played the, uh, the last game, um, nine of the players come through the Pro League ranks. Uh, sorry, ten of the starting players came through the Pro League ranks. And um, it has been so, the players on the bench, the Molinos and them, the development that the Pro League is doing is unprecedented. It, it's much needed, um, not just for the football side of thing, but a holistic sense, you know, guys getting jobs, guys buying cars and they're building houses and they, and they have houses for their families. They're taking them away from bad areas, Carinage and Mova and Lavantil, and they're getting a chance to do something different with their life instead of, getting in, in, instead of being in crime. So the Pro League is doing a tremendous job and everybody, everybody, corporate Trinidad and also the government should be a 100% behind them.